Hey, hello everyone. I'm Dr. Santo Chajed. I'm from PhD Pharmaceutical Sciences. In this video, I'm going to describe chemistry of amines and I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. This video is for a beginner who has started learning organic chemistry. Here I'm going to describe chemistry of amines, what are amines, their classification, how they are basic in the nature, methods of preparations and chemical reactions of amine I will going to describe in my subsequent videos. So basically amines are considered as a derivative of ammonia in which one or more hydrogens of ammonia are become replaced with one or more alkyl or aryl group respectively. Two examples of amines are there on the screen. One is methyl amine in which you could see easily that one of the hydrogen of ammonia become replaced with methyl group and that's why it is named as a methyl amine. In second example, two hydrogens of ammonia are become replaced with methyl groups and that's why name of the compound has been given dimethylamine. As far as the classification of amines is concerned, depending upon number of hydrogens of ammonia become replaced, amines are classified as a primary, secondary and tertiary. So, one hydrogen of an ammonia become replaced by one alkyl group, amine will be termed as a primary amine. If two hydrogens are become replaced by two alkyl groups, which could be same or different, it is called as secondary amine. Whereas, if all the three hydrogens of ammonia become replaced by three alkyl or aryl group, may be same, may be different, then it is termed as tertiary amines different examples are there in front of you. A simplest example I took is methylamine. Here you can see easily that only one hydrogen become replaced by methyl group. Case of dimethylamine, there are two hydrogens of ammonia become replaced by two methyl group and the name of the compound is given as dimethylamine. Whereas example of trimethylamine, what it is posted in front of you is all of the three hydrogens which are become linked to nitrogen of an ammonia are become replaced with methyl groups and that's why it is an example of uh, tertiary amine. Now we will talk about aromatic amines. Name itself is explanatory. Here one or more hydrogen of an ammonia will become replaced by one or more aryl ring. Here again the way we have learned about primary, secondary and tertiary amines in case of aliphatic amine and aromatic amines could be termed as a primary, secondary and tertiary aromatic amine. The simplest one is an aniline in which one of the hydrogen of an ammonia has become replaced by a phenyl ring and in case of N-methylamine here you could see that in addition to uh, aromatic ring one alkyl group is being become linked. Next example benzyl amine here in spite of the fact phenyl ring is present but it is not become linked directly to the nitrogen that's why this is not an example of aromatic amine but it is an example of aliphatic amine basic strength of amines that is whether amine is more basic or less basic is defined by the fact that how easily nitrogen of that particular amine share electron in the reaction if nitrogen share electron very fast and it becomes stabilized then the amine will be more basic as compared to the other amine. You can see that examples of primary, secondary and tertiary amines are there on the screen and the moment these amines will share electron with the electrophile or H plus ion, the quaternary nitrogen will become stabilized by inductive effect of methyl group. For sake of understanding, just visualize how nitrogen share its electron with the H plus ions and quaternary nitrogen will form. Positively charged nitrogen is unstable which will be stabilized by the inductive effect of alkyl group. In case of primary amine, only one alkyl group or methyl group is there which will release electron and will try to disperse or reduce the intensity of positive charge on the nitrogen which is the reason of unstability. In case of secondary amine, there are two methyl group which will release the electron on the nitrogen which will be unstable and we can understand easily that two methyl group will provide more stability by the dispersion of positive charge and as a consequence of that it will become more stable and comparatively nitrogen often secondary amine will share electron in the reaction in a faster manner as compared to the primary amine. In case of a tertiary amine same work will be done by three alkyl groups, three methyl groups and by inductive effect of 3 alkyl groups, positively charged nitrogen will become more stable 
by the inductive effect of three methyl groups and as a consequence of that it will be comparatively more stable so due to the inductive effect of alkyl groups present in tertiary amine will be more basic as compared to the secondary and secondary amine is more basic as compared to the primary we will compare the basic strength of two different amines that is methyl amine and n fluoromethanamine so here we can see in case of a methyl amine methyl group will release electron in the uh, reaction on the nitrogen and it will stabilize the nitrogen whereas in case of n fluoromethanamine fluorine being a electronegative element it will withdraw electron from the nitrogen and in the and in the reaction if positive charge present on the nitrogen will become further intensify that is fluorine will make nitrogen further unstable and as a consequence of that nitrogen will share electrons slowly in the reaction with the electrophile as compared to the electrons present on the nitrogen of methylamine so as a result of that we can easily say that methylamine will be more basic as compared to n fluoro methanamine we will again compare the basic strength of aliphatic amine and aromatic amine we know that aromatic amines will undergo resonance for sake of understanding this we will see the example of aniline we know that aromatic ring undergo resonance the moment carbon to which nitrogen has become linked will become positively charged nitrogen will coordinate its electron to that carbon and double bond will occur between the ring carbon and the nitrogen as a consequence of that positive charge will appear on the nitrogen you can see easily in the uh, resonating form too that a negative charge is there on ortho carbon and the subsequent resonating forms we can see how this negative charge or electron pair move from ortho to para position and again electron pair resides on the ortho carbon in general we can see that lone pair of electron present on the nitrogen was involved in the resonance it was not available for sharing with electrophile and we can conclude that lone pair of electron present on the nitrogen of an aromatic amine is less available for sharing so when it is less available we can say that aromatic amines are less basic as compared to the aliphatic amine so it's a resonance which is occurring in the aromatic amine makes aromatic amine less basic thank you very much for watching the video patiently if you want to learn chemistry in simplified manner do subscribe my channel share my videos with your friends and stay tuned thank you